Greg here, Underground Graphics. We're gonna do a Jeep tailgate wrap today. Uh, we've had a lot of people ask about uh, how to do this. We've got some small videos for the tail lights, but not for the whole gate. Um, this is what you're gonna get in our kit. Um, it's gonna be 3M, matte black or satin black, wrapped with air mask. Um, everything is pre-cut to fit. Um, you're gonna, so these are the, yeah, those are right and left. There's your, your tailgate. You're gonna have a piece for the camera, a stencil for your Jeep letters. The tools you're gonna need, uh, goo gone for that adhesive, heat gun, uh, we've got some double-sided tape, scissors, squeegee, some fishing line to get that stubborn badge off. Eight millimeter socket for the taillights. They believe it's a 30 inch Torx to get to the access to the camera. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the tools of the trade, masking tape, uh, soft squeegee over there. We got some alcohol. That's our detail. And uh, yeah, some microfibers all right let's get started so the most tedious part in this is getting these jeep badges off uh we've tried different ways different methods um heat we don't want to use a lot of heat because i don't want to damage the badge we are going to re reuse those um, we found some heavy gauge fishing line um, sometimes you can put it between two wrenches two screwdrivers i'm just coming off the roll with the plastic razor on here just to get a grip on this um you want to try to get, you're obviously going to get behind the letters, but you want to pull on the side of the letters, not on the side of the paint. Um, you want to try to leave a little bit of that um, residue on the letters. We're going to use that as a base to get them back on, um, but also with some uh, thin double-sided tape. All right, let's get started. I'll probably just do one letter and kind of see what how that goes. I don't want this video to be too long. Remember, there's going to be pinholes uh, behind the J, and behind the P, the E, both E's will come off pretty easy. So again, I'm kind of pulling on the J, and I'm gonna hit that pin here in just a minute. There it is. Now I just got all of that off. There we go. Let's leave this here. You don't need to take that back off. All right, there's the letters off. Now we gotta get this off. For this, we're gonna do, um, you can try to peel this if you can. It will come off. You're gonna get blisters, likely. Um, I found a trick, if it's pretty fresh, you can kind of grab from the edge and pull away. And it doesn't leave much residue. All right, guys, I think you get the gist of that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these three done and we'll come back, we'll clean it. We're gonna take off the camera and we'll get started. Got the letters off. Felt like it took an hour, but it was really about 20, 30 minutes. There we go. I did do that pull method where, I mean, my fingers are a little, little, little raw, but not too bad. I wasn't using my fingernail. Been able to pull those pieces out and get that off uh, without very, very little glue left. What we're gonna do now is go ahead and drop the tailgate, get the camera off. Um, then we'll get everything clean. We'll go back with that goo gone and make sure we get everything off of this Alcohol it clean it take the tail lights out prep it and we'll start the install. So this was the 30 30 Torx As I talk through this guys um, Again this kit we'll be doing just your standard matte black these kits are offered in satin as well. Um, matte looks great, does scratch easy, um, but it's completely your choice. I do prefer the matte. Um, as well, we offer these with pinstripe. Um, if you want the pinstripe, there's two ways to do that. One is pre-layered, uh, which is gonna be a little bit more, but we layer that for you. We take all the, all the hard part out of it, so you would be installing it just as we're installing this one today. If you order the pinstripe kit with the separate pinstripe that comes as a second or a, you know it's just by itself you're going to lay the kit just as we're doing today and then you're going to add a quarter inch pinstripe which we're going to give you eight strips of it um, which all you need is four that you're going to have to hand lay around that border all right so that's all we need to get this back plate off and your camera is down in here I'm going to go ahead and get this out. Um, I'm going to need one more tool for that, I believe. 
um, and we'll come right back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, the camera, there's a piece on here that slides. The camera back seems like this. It's going to slide out through the side. You may push up here, push down here, slide that out. That's, just, that's the easiest way to do this. I do unplug it after it's out of the tailgate. It's a little bit easier to get to the, the bottom clip of that. Um, once that's this piece is out, you're going to push top, push bottom, and it's going to come back out the bottom. Now we can really have easy, easier access to that, that clip. There we go. Now that that's out, we're gonna set this aside. Um, there is another piece for that. It comes with that kit. It's about a six by six wrap. We are gonna have to lay this. I like to put this in a tube of uh, masking tape just to keep it flat on the edges. We'll take that film, go right on top of it, and then cut out around that camera, and we'll be done. So for now, we're gonna go back and we're gonna clean all that adhesive off. This really shouldn't take much because again, we did, I got most of that off of there. Let that sit for just a second Get that on that plastic. I'll go back with alcohol and kind of hit everything. And just lightly. Make sure you get all of this off because that wrap will show anything left over underneath that wrap is going to look like a piece of dirt. So again, on this one, uh, we're going to show you how to install the Jeep letters back, um, but we're probably going to end up using our Hawk letters um, with a red overlay. Um, customer still hasn't decided yet, but we'll you'll see shortly what he decides to do. But again, regardless, we're going to show you how to install these letters back. For those of you that are worried about the paint, this is all surface stuff. If you do get any scratches from the, the fishing line or pushing hard on this, again, it's stuff that comes out with the light compound. It happens. Um, again, that's why we want to try to get this off without plastic razors. Sometimes we have to um, for the old, old badges. Um, but again, it's nothing that can't be taken care of with a little bit of compound. put this rag away get another one um, I like to use an alcohol water mix um, mostly water with a little bit of alcohol you can go a little heavy with alcohol if you want to go a little bit more maybe like a 70 30 all right so this is that alcohol mix and so you really do want to go ahead and get the whole area after we do this, we'll drop the gate and go ahead and get out the taillights. All right, we'll get another, another fresh towel to do a second wipe down just before we're ready for install. This is a pull here and pull straight back out and then back. I'm going to clip inside, pull the red pan out. I got that. Make sure you pull out here, pull back. When that comes out, make sure that red tab is all the way out. Push down on the tip of that black tab, your fingernail, and this come out. A little bit easier than I'm pulling out before. In and out at the same time. All right, we are now ready to do the install. All right, when we get ready to do the install, we're gonna do tail lights first and then do that middle section uh, last. We wanna do that so we make sure we line up uh, those corners so the black meets, everything meets up right. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this stuff wiped down again. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one, stop the camera, I'll go ahead and do the other one and then we'll do the middle. For this section here, I use a little bit of masking tape. A little extra in case we need it. We're gonna need the scissors, squeegee, and of course, 
our vinyl. So how this applies, again, these were cut to shape. You've got a little kink in here. That's going to be right at the end of that. And this is going to line up right at the back. So you want to make sure you place this where you want it. I can go ahead and drop the tailgate as well. I'll have to have that open for this. You'll see that crease on that body line, and that's exactly where you want that to be. Tape that top, tape that bottom. Let's come back over here and look and see how that falls. And that is exactly where I want that to be. So I'll put a piece of tape here. Let's go ahead and we can actually move those or just put tape, tape. If you want to, you can kind of use this as a guide to see where you're supposed to end up. Now what I like to do too, let's go ahead and tear that tape so I can see where that's going to Let's make sure I get that back in that same spot. We're gonna peel back half. Make sure your hands are clean when you do this. right back to where that tape was. Just tack that down lightly. Start to work. Make sure those edges are down first. We don't want to do anything in the middle just yet. I'm going to pull off that tape. And this isn't even tacked. start working in. Let's go ahead and do this back side. Remember, this is air release. So if you get a little bubble, don't worry about it. Once this mask is off, you can really worry about the little detail pieces, but this should really see some fingering and some wrinkles up there along those edges and again we just want to get the most of this big, biggest part of this down the reason why we have this hole here is so we can get our hands in there and pull that out warm it up with the heat gun and we can pull all that out all that pressure out and we can get this all laid in
make sure you pull, the, we want this to end up in the middle so we don't pull off what we just laid down. Again, that's why I cut this hole in here. We can kind of pull that out and make sure we get and it'll release those, those wrinkles, we call them fingers. And if you get a little wrinkle in there, pull that back out. with all of our graphics. We do our best to make these easy to install for the do-it-yourselfer. I've been doing this for 20 plus years, so it's easy for me. But if you're hesitant on it, definitely find yourself a local wrap shop. Even a sign shop can do it. wrinkles out. We do provide you with a squeegee. It's not going to have the felts on the end. Uh, we do recommend that, but just use, you can use a microfiber towel, anything so you're not scratching the vinyl. It's not much, it's not very far you have to go. is all going to be hidden so if you want to make it look pretty you can but you, excuse me you really don't have to I'm just going to get right past that edge and I'm going to trim around with the blade and just tuck those edges down with a little bit of heat We can go back when we're all done with the heat gun, make sure everything's laid well. Now we gotta get that inside corner, which again is just kind of having to roll that piece in. This is a little tricky because of the this piece here, but we can move that as needed. Oh, 
bottom, you can just lay that in. Once I finish this, I'll pull that off and I'll that camera off and I'll show you what this looks like. Then I'll do the other side and we'll again we'll go back to that middle. So what this looks like up close. All right, let me come back to y'all. I'll get that other light done and we'll do the tailgate. All right, we're back, We've done the other taillight area and now we're ready to do the center section. Um, one more wipe down, uh, I'll get some tape and get this taped up. So there's a couple ways to do this. Again, we can tack it. I'm gonna go ahead and make some markers here where this taillight ended and where I want that gate graph to begin. Top and bottom. It is very important that when you do the other tail light that they match up. I mean, obviously, you want the same height. pieces just in case we need them. Just washed my hands. Again, I want to test fit, make sure we know what we're doing here. The tricky part with this is you don't want the droop in the center. So that's why we're going to go ahead and tape our ends. That's the one that's going to stay. Do the same thing on the sides. To show you guys how this lines up so again now we know we're straight it's going to match up with both tail lights um whether you're right-handed or left-handed what we're going to do is the hinge method we're going to peel back one side use these to line up and start working we're going to tack it and then start working our vinyl center out i'm right-handed i like to work the right side first go left One thing I don't think I mentioned was you don't want to do this outside in the sun. Um, obviously we're in a shop garage. I think it's like 74 degrees in here, 75. Um, when this stuff gets hot, it gets soft and it becomes a mess. Um, so temperature controlled is the best, but if you have to, just do it early morning, do it evening. And again, don't pull too hard, just enough to keep it Hot, tight. And if you need to reposition it, you can.
Tack, tack. Again, this vinyl allows you to do this. This is premium 3M 2080 wrap film. Air release adhesive in it is the best on the market. We also use Avery and Horacal. Um, just depends on color. stuff later. I just want to get this all down first. Now we can take off these center pieces. Again, that's why that's important to have that tacked. point. to pull this back up you can um, again that's why we just kind of tack it this is very forgiving vinyl mm -hmm. but I do want to get this all down with the mask on there before I pull the mask off again this I can go rough with or hard with because that mask is on there Off, just like we did in the tail lights, you want to use a soft end or wrap your microfiber around it.
at this point, you kind of want to look through there, see if there's any spots. So there was something that was in the mask that showed up right there, but that's fine. There's going to be a pinhole there and a pinhole here. Those we do want to mark. That's where our Jeep LM is going to go back. There's our camera. We can go back and again, just make sure everything looks good. There's a little bit of bubbling right there, but again, it's just surface. It's easy. It comes right out. We want to tuck these edges. I went a little far to the right, but it's still, we have a little extra on this just so you don't have to worry about that. And we can roll those edges up. Make sure when you clean, you get the edge of the edges of the tailgate as well. Camera hole. This doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure you get the camera back in there. All right, I'm going to keep that tape up there because I want to use that for the stencil. I um, want to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the tail, the tail lights back in. Uh, I'm going to show you how to wrap the camera and then we'll go back and do that Jeep badge last. All right, next we're going to do the camera and I'm going to show you how to do the Jeep letters as well. Uh, one thing with the camera is how to get this level. Uh, we found that a paint can top works great. Set that right on top, gives you support to wrap this thing really easily uh, with the Jeep letters. We'll get to that in a minute, but just want to say the way we take those off and I showed you earlier on, um, if you leave some of this tack on there, we've done this before. Um, this will go right back on there. Um, once it starts to tack, it will set. If you're uncomfortable with it, you can go back and you can use some double sided tape, but you got to find the thin tape. We've got some banner tape, 3M makes some stuff online that you can use um, for emblems as well. Um, we have not had any issues with this yet, and I hope it, hope we never do, but, um, you know, it's, it's really tacky. Um, additionally, we offer the Hawk letters. Um, still waiting to find out if we're going to be doing the Hawk letters on this one or not. But um, anyway, let's get going with the camera. Um, I have already alcoholed this, got this clean up, cleaned up. Make sure your hands are clean. Um, this, I think you're going to get two of these. They're six by six squares, enough to go over that camera. You're going to want to get this warm. It really doesn't take much. Try to keep as little stress off of here as possible. Again, when it's soft, it's pliable, it's easy, easier. All that flat surface on the front, it's easy to do. Then as we get to those edges, that's where you're really gonna want a little bit more of that heat. Try not to get a lot of stretch, a little you're gonna have to. But if you he just work, work work its way down, this may be a little tricky for some, but again, that's why we give you a little bit of extra. Once you get most of that tack, we're going to go just past the edge of that, roll that to the back, cut it, and it's going to be sealed up against the tailgate. As you can see, we're just working our way around. going to let's cut 
cut away some of that excess. I just want to leave just a little bit. About a quarter inch, half inch, so we can kind of see what, how we're going to tuck that. I just want to get a little bit of ledge on that back side. Could even go less. It's easier to do it if you're looking at the back. And now we can tuck that in on the back side. And you know, it gets soft, it gets, it gets pliable, a little easier to work with. Doesn't have to be pretty, no one's going to see it. But, uh, no, not for the faint of heart. We do have to cut that camera out so you can see. And you can feel there's going to be a, a, an edge to follow. That's what you want to do. Just lightly drag the blade. You may get a little bit of paint showing, but again, not a huge deal. If you don't like it, you can do it again. You want to go back and get that cleaned up like i said i wouldn't take this out because it's in there with rivets so let me go ahead and get this put on just just to show you how and again if you want to do the the jeep letters um, i'm going to leave that up to you if you want to add any additional uh double-sided tape on that but um yeah let's go ahead and get everything put back together all right greg we're back get this thing finished up um customer did decide you want to go back with the jeep letters so good for us we can just show you what this looks like looks like going back to stock Again, we talked about those pinholes, one here, one here. Um, that's gonna match up to that stencil that I've, that I've given you for this. This is, this is gonna kinda cover the camera a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece out, something that we haven't finalized on that cut file, but not a big deal. Again, we just wanna line those pieces up. I got some tape here for that. Got one there, and one there. Two. Got tape. Tape. There's our stencil. And this is a stencil mask, so it shouldn't adhere. It should be a light tack, but you don't want to leave this on too long. I don't want to damage the the wrap we just laid. So you can just squeegee lightly. You just want it there as a, as a stencil, that's it. You wanna peel back that mask. Be careful, because this, remember, like I said, this mask, the matte black, does scratch pretty easy. So you just want to get the edge of that without scratching the, the vinyl. And we are going to opt. This, these are still very tacky. So that is your guide.
anyway, I hope you see what this looks like. I don't want to break these through yet. I want to go back and make sure he doesn't want to do the Hawk letters. I'm just going to tack that up there. just yet. If you guys look, see that does that goes right back to stock. Um, let me see if he's ready to for sure do this. And um, yeah, I think you got the idea. From there, push those down. Let this sit out in the sun for a little bit. If you want to go back and post heat with the heat gun, 180 degrees, you can. Uh, there was very little stress on this job, so you really don't have to do that. It is recommended, but again, um, we typically do that only with for areas that are under stress. Um, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, shoot us an email, shoot us a, a message, Instagram, Facebook. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.